This is basically a warning from a Tesla stock investor who I highly respect. He just explained how $150 per share for Tesla stock could be back in play. Dylan shared this chart and he used to also professionally manage money. Using the tactic that he just outlined here, which I will go through, uh, he says that he avoided buying Tesla stock at 260 and 290 range and he will be able to use these funds that he saved during this time to buy Tesla stock likely at lower prices. Right now, he could buy it at $215 per share. This will have some stock astrology, but knowing astrology, understanding astrology has helped me before when I was single get me more dates. And when enough people believe in stock astrology, in other words, technical analysis, then it actually starts to work and Wall Street does believe in it. So here it is. This is a Tesla stock year to day chart with a 200 day simple moving average, which is the yellow line here. And then there's VRVP, which stands for visible range volume profile in yellow and blue bars. Uh, VRVP displays volume as a horizontal histogram showing buy blue and sell yellow volume at given price point. So basically um, blue means more people are buying if the blue line is bigger and the yellow line means if that one is bigger then more people are selling Tesla stock at these particular prices. The thing that we want to pay attention to is the red line, which is the POC, point of control, which shows where the majority of volume has been traded given the time frame you are viewing. So in this case, we are viewing a year-to-day chart. If the asset price is above the point of control, the point of control can serve as support, and if price is below, it can serve as resistance. So for now, it is serving as support. So as long as we are above it, then chances are, according to this analysis, we are more likely to stay above it than below it. But if we break through it, that could be pretty bad, basically. Good time to mention, if you think technical analysis is astrology, that's fine, but it's literally just data of market behavior. Nothing is 100% accurate at the time, but they can serve as useful data points in the proper context. I think to some degree that certainly makes sense. Uh, and then he continues, Tesla stock is approaching a key level $200, which is also the year-to-date point of control. Remember that red line? If it breaks below, there's a world where $150 is back in play. Remember, macro drives everything. Yeah, that's, macro, of course, does drive a lot. But I think if Tesla releases the Cybertruck, and if it goes fairly well, which... You know, in the beginning, that's questionable. No one before has ever made a vehicle like the Cybertruck. No one has ever before scaled a vehicle like the Cybertruck. But if there's someone or some company that can actually do it, then it has to be Tesla. Eventually, if it goes well, give it a few years, and then full self-driving also comes out, it doesn't matter what the macro really does, especially once we have the next generation vehicle as well. So if you combine all these things together, I think eventually Tesla stock will break through again, but it could take quite a while. No one really knows exactly how long. Dylan continues here, it's actually this exact chart that gave me confidence to delay my monthly dollar cost averaging amounts for June, July, and August as I have been expecting a pullback toward the point of control, towards that red line. However, and this is really the important part, things don't always work out this well, and I've used the data to make incorrect calls, says Dylan, in the past, but over the years, Awareness of these metrics has improved my dollar cost averaging timing. Plus, I have fun testing my assumptions, even if I'm wrong. In this case, though, had I just done a regular monthly dollar cost averaging, I would have bought Tesla stocks as Dylan between 260 and 290, but now I should be able to use those funds to buy at these levels, if not even lower, says Dylan. I think if you take some time to learn all of these things and if you want to incorporate them into your strategy, I don't see a problem with that. Or if you just want to dollar cost average an equal amount every single month where you buy the exact same amount of Tesla stock every single month, I think that just works perfectly fine for many people. How do I personally dollar cost average? Well, to oversimplify it, maybe I should make a full video about this, then the stock price is a little higher or when I think the stock is more likely to go down, I dollar cost average reluctantly. 
with a sad face, angry face. And then it's closer to the bottom. In other words, when Tesla stock drops a lot, suddenly a dollar cost average with a very happy smile on my face, which is when I start tapping into my cash reserves, which usually I don't do anything with. And now, a Tesla stock bull was just on TV. He said a few things about what's happening with Tesla stock and what's happening to Tesla in China. Let's take a look. Tesla is having a pretty terrible run lately. If you haven't noticed, Tesla's lost a quarter of its value in a month. That is a $246 billion drop. What in the world is going on with Tesla? Joining us now is RBC Capital Markets Global Autos Analyst Tom Naran. I think you have to keep in mind when it comes to Tesla, these types of moves are kind of par for the course, right? It was a trillion dollar market cap after the pandemic. Then it pulled back to about 300 billion after the whole Twitter saga. Then it rallied up to 900 billion uh, with the big uh, 2Q delivery number. Now it's pulled back to around 600 billion. It's still 600 billion plus market cap. Let's not forget that. But yeah. the reason why it's pulled back really um, it's a couple of things. One is we heard from the 2Q call that there are going to be some pullbacks in production in the third quarter. They wouldn't hit uh, their you know above 1.8 million uh, vehicle target delivery for 2023 for the Model 3 and the Model Y. I think some folks expect them to beat that. We also obviously saw the CFO departure. I think folks wanted to uh, understand that a little better. And then now you also have that all coupled in with the China price cuts. Yeah. So I think it's just a confluence of things all happening at the same yeah. time. In other words, Elon and the Tesla team deciding to do production upgrades this quarter instead of, let's say, the next quarter, closer to Christmas, brings the Christmas sale to today. All I'm trying to say here is basically that Elon Musk put Tesla stock on sale. You're getting a discount right now. Tom here said, if you are a long-term investor in Tesla stock and you didn't increase your position after the stock dropped 25% over the past few weeks, I don't know what to tell you. Well, maybe they're going to sell their Tesla stock so that we can buy the stock cheaper. I would also like to say thank you so much to everyone who decided to sell recently and especially in December, giving me a juicy discount. If you just sold, your sacrifice is appreciated, especially if you sold in December. Also, let's not forget that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg could still have a fight, and I think Tesla stock investors generally don't really like that. I personally, as a Tesla stock investor, don't like that, although as a spectator, you know, I wouldn't really mind too much to see that. But as a Tesla stock investor, definitely no. Gary, though, says, I don't agree with Squawk Square that Elon's political rants or the now cancelled cage fight are the cause of Tesla's stock price plunge over the past month. It's the same villain as last September, January, that has caused Tesla stock to plunge. The threat of price cuts. Yeah, that is certainly also contributing to Tesla stock being down right now. But if we look at what was going on at the end of last year, it was not just the price, because although that certainly contributed to the stock uh, plunging. But before, let's also not forget that there was a lot of uncertainty about this Twitter acquisition. Is Elon still staying as the CEO of Tesla or not? That was up in the air. What was happening with the board? So much pressure there as well and then most importantly elon was dumping so much tesla stock which just that in itself drove tesla stock price much lower and then you heard people like ross gerber that have tens of millions of dollars worth of tesla stock in their funds uh, say things like i'm not buying more tesla stock right now because if i buy now and elon sells tomorrow stock plunges like five eight ten percent in one single day why would you want to do that so people that would normally buy tesla stock stop buying more tesla stock talk to us a little more about china and how much it matters because china's economy by i mean the little information we now get out of china looks like they're on the precipice of a major slowdown yeah, I mean, it's a third of, uh, of, of, de of deliveries here for, for Tesla. So it's a very important market. There were sizable cuts there. But if you look at the market uh, share that Tesla has in China, it actually hasn't lost that much market share. It's around 8% market share. If you look at a company like VW, it's lost way more market share. It's only about 4% for, for EVs when it was about 20% for ICEs. So, you know, yeah, it is something that it, it, definitely folks should monitor. It's, it's definitely a concern. Uh, but remember, you know, Shanghai is 
It's mo is Tesla's most lowest cost plant. It's it still can afford to cut prices there to keep the market share and not sacrifice on profitability. Definitely something the whole industry is 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 taking a, a look at. Uh, a slowing economy potentially there, demand uh, issues there. Uh, but you know, all yeah. in, in the grand scheme of things, Tesla is a company. That, can, that, that has managed this in the past. Yeah, China is not doing exactly great. Check this out. This Chinese company just declared bankruptcy and it is the second largest property developer in China. Companies accounting for 40% of Chinese home sales, most of them private property developers, have defaulted since 2021. Kathy Wood is now convinced that China is actually exporting deflation. Elon Musk says interesting. And despite all of this, we are actually seemingly on track to have another record delivery quarter in China, assuming that this trend continues. But the trend that will certainly continue is me buying more Tesla stock, especially if Tesla stock drops more. And this video is the one that YouTube wants you to watch next. But if you haven't finished watching this Elon Musk interview, watch this one first. My name is Matt Posius. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.